Today's collectible spot, we're having a look at the Tech for Kids Furbies Blind Barrel Mashems. These are Series 1, and Spot calls them blind barrels, but really that is what they are. They're, inside here is one Furby. Spot's actually got two Furbies, and this is uh, super squishy, not recommended for ages 3 and below. It says 4 and up here. You can go to www.mashems.com. Also comes with us from Hasbro. These are a nice ice blue barrel in color. I only think they came in the ice blue to distinguish them from other Masham barrels. Some air holes on the top, maybe to allow the the, the squ super squishy Furby Masham to breathe. That will allow them not to suffocate. But let's get this opened up, find out which ones we got. Uh, Tech for Kids, who also are producing the Mashams here, also make them available in carded form as well. And Spot's got some carded ma uh, Furbies that we'll be looking at as well. The benefit, though, of getting these in blind barrels, the little blind things sets here, is that you don't know what you're going to get. Sometimes that in itself lies the adventure. An adventure awaits when you open up one of these, not knowing what you're going to get. Bringing myself in a knife, Hank, who actually kind of looks about the same coloring than as the barrel here. We're just going to cut the first barrel very gingerly and just get this plastic opened like so. You know what, for the sake of it, let's cut the open, the second one as well. Oh wait, you know, there's a perforation here. Why don't we actually make use of the perforation? It's there. Somebody took the time to produce a machine that would put a perforation in this label. The least I could do is actually appreciate the time and effort put into it and use the perforation. Like so. So now we got two barrels. Let's open the first one up, find out which one we got. We got ourselves, of course, a pamphlet, just to warn us, choking hazards, do not swallow this, do not feed this to the dog, all that good stuff, tech for kids down below. Put that into the first barrel, I'm just going to put that aside, and we got ourselves an orange Furby. Now, of uh, Masham categories, I would say the Furbies here are definitely one of the squishier of the Mashams. They feel much more pliable, much more manipulative than what you can do with some of the other Furby or the other Mashems. Their ears seem to want to stick to themselves, as you can see right there. If you do get your Mashems dirty, obviously just running them underwater will clean your Furbies and other Mashems, not a problem. But we got ourselves an orange Furby. So far, so good. Let's open up the next one and see what Furby is going to be joining him. And inside, we got ourselves a pink Furby. Pamphlets, also put that to the side. Barrels, we'll put right there. And let's admire the two Furbies that we got. Now it looks like they are the exact same Furby, just you know, like a change in color. Both adequately squishy. You can see the, and probably hear the liquid inside the Furbies. And these are fun. Spot. Spot really seems to be getting more into the Mashems than what he used to. And I gotta say, they're really coming out with some really neat Mashems. Furbies are not ones I would ever have considered coming out in a Mashem, but I gotta say, they're kinda cute. Kinda cute indeed. If you're a big fan of Mashems, certainly a big fan of Furbies, you might be interested in these quite a bit. Today's collectible spot, we were having a look at the Tech for Kids Furbies Mashems Series 1. Certainly stay tuned, guys. Spot's got more collectible spots heading your way. See you guys next time.